Games. One of New Zealand's most decorated equestrian stars is eyeing a return to the Olympics. Blythe Tate won individual gold in Atlanta 23 years ago, but as Christina Eddy reports, the competitive fire still burns. Blythe Tate's back home in New Zealand after packing up his life in the UK. Yes, this is me taking one more step towards retirement. But it's not the final step. Tate wants another shot at the big time, although he accepts getting to Tokyo won't be easy. There is only three people on the team in, in Tokyo, so it's a very narrow um, goal and we have, as you know, some very strong combinations like the Prices and Mark Todd and, you know, everyone else. Tate certainly got the pedigree to do it. Well, what do you say? The 57-year-old's a double world champion and a four-time Olympic medalist. His gold and bronze at Atlanta in 96, enduring memories from those games. You can't recreate that sort of naive enthusiasm, but, um, you know, experience uh, takes you in a different, a different approach to, to competition. And Tate's eager to use that experience at the highest level on his Mount Havana. His only focus, now he's based south of Auckland. It's not going to seem like a job anymore. It's going to seem like a sport. Uh, but, you know, I think a fresh approach is always good when you, when you get a bit older. Tate's road to Tokyo will see him compete against two of the world's best, Kiwis Janelle and Tim Price, at next month's Horse of the Year in the Hawke's Bay, a stepping stone he hopes to reliving the magic of the Olympics. Seeing people on the sidelines holding the New Zealand flag and... Uh, you know, that's why we do it, is to, to be involved in exciting times like that. Wearing the fern after a 15-year hiatus, certainly not out of the question. Christina Eddy, News Hub. Finally tonight, the force is strong within the French...